Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Welcome on the Kelsey News. My name is David Soviro, and I have the pleasure today to have over the phone a fantastic lady. Her name is Ingrid Jean-Baptiste, and she is the founder and the director of a first-class film festival. The name of the film festival you heard, you have to have heard about this great film festival. It's one of the most important film festivals in the U.S., the name of that festival is called the Chelsea Film Festival, which is going to be in New York uh, from October 13 to the 16 of this year, 2016. Uh, and I have over the phone today the one and only, the amazing Ingrid Jean-Baptiste. How are you, Ingrid, today? I'm doing really well. Thank you so much for this wonderful introduction. My dear, it is a pleasure to have you because... You are such a creative woman. You are such an inspiring woman. And I love people who are doing things and to create things. So you are one of them. You are very, very successful. So this is really a pleasure, a pleasure to have you. So now for the people who don't know who you are, would you be so kind to let us know um, <laughs> who are you, where are you from, where did you grow up, and what brought you to create this? amazing film festival. So I'm uh, from Paris originally. I'm from Paris, France. I moved here six years ago to study acting at the Actors Studio. Then uh, after graduating from the two-year program at the Actors Studio, I had a car accident, unfortunately. So that mm. uh, led me to create something else in my life. And uh, after, during my recovery, and I came up with this idea of a film festival because I live in Chelsea and I wanted to help emerging filmmakers from around the world. I'm also someone who has traveled in a lot of different countries and I always wanted to um, put together an event where a lot of people from different countries could actually meet and network and uh, understand why they're leaving, what, where are they living, uh, in that sphere or, you know, depending where they're from. Uh, so it's, it's a festival to really make sure that people um, become more familiar with different cultures. So that's really what I'm, we're trying to do with the Chelsea Film Festival. So this year we have 90 films. We started with uh, in 2013 with 17 films from 13 different countries. So now we have wow. 90 films this year from uh, 24 different countries. Wow, that's absolutely uh, uh, amazing. And, uh, and yeah, it's, it's, uh, so, so we're from basically the same city, you know. <laughs> from yes. Paris. And, uh -huh. and, and I must say that your English and your accent are absolutely perfect. Really, perfect, perfect. <laughs> Thank you. So really, congratulations. Um, so, yes, yeah, so sometimes, you know, you have some, some accidents who happen. For, for a reason and uh, and uh, yeah we, we everybody I'm, in Chelsea is very very grateful uh, to you for creating this first class film festival so would you be so kind also to let us know what I know you you just spoke a little bit about it but tell us what are we going to see in this film festival of this year and in what this year is a little bit different from the others yes so it's a little bit different from the other years because we have a new countries that have entered the festival this year, such as Hong Kong, Costa Rica, Pakistan, Iran. So these countries are, have uh, not been featured the previous years. So this will be brand new. So we're excited to actually welcome the filmmakers that are traveling from all the spaces. So we have this woman, Ruby Yang. She's an Academy Award winner, actually. Wow. And, uh, she's standing out from the entire lineup because she uh, is the only uh, filmmaker that has an Academy Award, and uh, which is not usually what we do, but uh, because we wanted to have a representation of Hong Kong and her film suits the theme of this year, which is youth. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why we, we decided to actually have it in the lineup. Mm -hmm. So, um, so this country, this, this four countries are new. Also, we have, um, a panel of discussions which is on Saturday called the Real Magic Hour, which wow. will feature virtual reality experiences for our guests. So wow. this will be amazing because, uh, it's, uh, it's a new medium that, 
um, everybody's excited or people are still not sure what it is about, like what we are. So they will be able to, to test it on their own and uh, with actually um, not only it will be an experience, but it will be also made from a woman. So women that are in the film industry, so it's all women that have been that decided, women in tech that decided to uh, go that route and create wow. experiences, virtual reality experiences. So these are the new, the highlights of this year. We also have a, a French Caribbean movie program that's oh, brand new this yes. year. Oh, yes. I love yes. I love it. Which country? <laughs> which, uh, I mean, which, which one? La Martinique? Yes. So we have La Martinique. We have Guadeloupe. We have uh, wow. French Guiana. Um, so all these uh, islands are going to be represented, and the filmmakers are coming from their islands. So this is exciting also. Wow. Everybody's coming. So it's, it's really uh, amazing to, to have all these people come uh, unite together to celebrate in the film, you know? Yeah. And so, one thing, and one thing. I, yeah, uh -huh. No, go ahead. Yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. So the other thing that I wanted to, to share with you this year mm -hmm. uh, is that we have a, a program called New Wave Short mm -hmm. Film. And what it is, is films that have been made by so-called like celebrities. So they're mm -hmm. uh, films made by uh, the granddaughter of Charlie Chaplin, a uh, wow. basketball player uh, by the name of Boris Bia, who was in the Spurs. Uh, mm -hmm. basketball team. So he also made a film that is a really amazing film, a short film that we're going to have it as a world premiere. So all of our films are premieres in New York. Either wow. In New York or uh, U.S. or world. Yeah. Wow. That, that, that's really, really, really amazing. Uh, wh one thing I wanted to tell you, Ingrid, is, you know, I receive a lot of things because now that the problem is that you have a lot of film festivals, uh, in, especially in the U.S., like the country of film festivals. Yes. Like just in New York, you have, I don't know how many. And every day I receive, uh, you know, requests for, for new film festivals. But the way for me to find out if this film festival is legit or not, because, you know, uh, and usually I go to the sponsors page and I see who had agreed to put their stamp uh, uh, near yours, you know, and when <laughs> I looked at your <laughs> film festival, I was like, wow, this girl managed to get the most important organizations in the world. So just for, uh -huh, audience, just you. for them to, to know, they have the UNESCO, they have the FIT, the Fashion Institute of Technology, they have the French government, they have the Manhattan Borough President, uh, yes. they have uh, Excel <laughs> Airways, you know, when, when they are on time, they are a fantastic airline. Uh, yes. <laughs> they have La Martinique, uh -huh. they have Burger and Lobster, they have Backstage, my, my favorite, uh, uh, media. I've done the interview many times. I love these guys. And they have the New York Women in Film and Television and the Governor's Office of Motion Picture and Television Development. So, and they have also Michel and Augustin. They do the best cookies in the world. Uh, <laughs> Starbucks, you, you can use this guy. So that for, for, for our people who, who will be a little bit reluctant or, or, um, or it's going to be another film festival or, or we have a lot of people of the industry who are like, Oh, I go to this kind of event every day. No, 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 no. This film festival <laughs> is a one of a kind because also one thing that you do in grid and I really want to congratulate you for it as a member of the, as the modest member of the industry is to, that you love to do the networking. You organize red carpet events and you organize meeting Q and A between uh, um, uh, the, the filmmaker and the audience. Yes, and, yes. and you make mm -hmm. all of that very affordable. Tell us uh, about your desire to bring the people together because I think this is a gift really to bring people together. Um, and, and also for people who want to go to see the film festival, how much does it cost? Because I know okay. that you do a, a special, uh, a big, big, big effort on it so that it doesn't cost like $800 to go to see uh, the, the film festival. So uh, tell us a little bit about it. Yes. 
So it costs uh, $18, and so you wow. come in, and we offer beer, uh, snacks, and you can network with the filmmakers. Also, no? A girlfriend, no? Uh, a girlfriend, no? A girlfriend, <laughs> also, no? A girlfriend. Uh, it's a very social event, so uh, <laughs> you get to meet a lot of people. And I know uh, for a fact that a lot of people that I, uh, I know personally have met a lot of uh, new friends and maybe girlfriends, boyfriends. So it's definitely an event where uh, you, you get to meet, you know, people that have the same hobbies as you. Wow. Well, I, I definitely be there. That, that's for sure. So we can purchase uh, the, the ticket on your, your uh, the, 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 the film festival uh, like website, that. which is ChelseaFilm.org. Chelsea, uh, C-H-E-L-S-E-A film, S. I L M no S huh? uh, Chelsea Film that uh, org uh, you can purchase and also I think this is also good um, some people when they purchase a ticket let's say I want to see for eighteen dollars the movie you can also add some extra money and uh, and make a donation uh, also if you want to support the art that's one of the best way to do even if you can if you are not because our audience is quite all over the world. If you know you cannot attend it, you can offer it to someone you care uh, uh, in New York, someone from the industry, trust me, they will be grateful to you uh, uh, forever. If you have a girlfriend and you just broke up with her and you are <laughs> sad, you miss her, you want to have her back, definitely to offer her a, a CFF, a VIP pass will have her back for sure. And you can be sure she won't be mad at you. <laughs> no more. So, um, <laughs> uh, 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 and also you can, that's the best way to, 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 to support the art. So my dear Ingrid, before I say goodbye to you, is there anything else that I didn't mention that you would like to, 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 to bring about this film festival? Yes, I would like to, uh, bring to your attention and everybody that will listen, uh, or is listening to this, um, interview that we are welcoming for the first time the media and entertainment commissioner this year who will see wow. the opening ceremony. So I would like to invite everybody to uh, purchase a ticket for that opening night gala, which will be followed by a after party where we'll have drinks and food. And, so and this is on which day? Which day is that? The opening is on the 10th, mm -hmm. right? It's it's on the it's on the thirteenth. It's on Thursday. Ah, on, on on Thursday. My bad. Okay, on the Thursday. That's wonderful. Well, we'll definitely be there. I definitely be there. <laughs> even if I if, <laughs> even if, it, if it's almost sold out, I will I will climb the the building <laughs> and try to go through the roof. I will find a way. But I I, I will be there uh -huh, no matter thank what. You so much. Or, or with these guys myself as one of the commissioner and. And try to to, to sneak in, <laughs> no, no. But that's, uh -huh. that, that's definitely the best way to attend is to uh, uh, purchase uh, a ticket and uh, and a pass because I can guarantee you guys that you will see the best films that are out there. And Ingrid, she made also the surrounding of the film is very important and is very friendly. It's no brainer at all, and it's also reflective of her wonderful and welcoming and warm personality. She's a, a first-class creative uh, a woman, and I wish you, my dear Ingrid, long life to this film festival, and, I'm, and oh, I can't wait to so see the, the 100th edition of this film festival, <laughs> uh, <laughs> which I hope we will both attend. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but uh, anyway, my dear, I want you to know that uh, this show which can be here on, 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 can be heard on iTunes Radio, iTunes Podcast, SoundCloud, and many other platforms. I want you to know that the doors of this show are yours 24-7, and we're going to talk again about this film festival tomorrow and after tomorrow, and until uh, even the, even after the 16th, we're going to talk it's about it. Thing, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to, to, yeah to it's a competition, how... so we'll have a, a lot of things to share. Oh, yeah, 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 D definitely. We will, we will talk uh, uh, about all of that. So, my dear Ingrid, Thank you so much for taking some time. I know how busy you are before film festival uh, uh, opens. I know when when my my wife wants to cook. You know, I, I, I you can you have no idea how busy I become. You know, you need to go to buy her <laughs> tomato. 
she forgot the onions, you know, to go back downstairs. The onions, it's a crazy day, you know, so I cannot <laughs> even imagine when you have a film festival, how busy you are. And I really appreciate from the bottom of my heart that you took uh, uh, some time. So thank you so much, Ingrid. All right. Thank you so much, David. Thank you thank for you so the much. opportunity. Yeah. Well, once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is David Sturrow. I had the pleasure on the Curtain News to have the fantastic Ingrid Jean-Baptiste, who uh, talked to us about her film festival. It's called the Chelsea Film Festival. It's opening on the 13th. It's playing until the 16th. All the information and tickets you can purchase on her website, which is chelseafilm.org. Thank you so much, Ingrid. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you, David. Have a great day. Bye-bye.